Hello friends! This one is a little bit more advanced, making an adorable Valentine doll gift. It's one of a kind, so each one will be different. There's no sewing required. It's easy enough to do with children, but the supplies are a little more advanced than what we did with the peanuts. Watch the peanut video with the packing, shipping, uh, soft packing material called peanuts. This time we're using and recycling uh, little decoration hearts. They're kind of uh, a little harder, but it's easy to pierce a hole for the head here. So instead of making a head that is made from the soft peanut, and there's a video for that, and we've recycled a little bit of a flower here from Lay, Hawaiian Lay, for the skirt, and a little bit of felt. So watch that video. This is just a little step up for home. If you have materials that you can reuse or you have these laying around that you bought on sale on Valentine's Day just to enjoy something a little more, uh, I wouldn't wanna say, it's just, just the one step up, cuter, I think. Okay, uh, so let's make a quick little doll. What I like about it is that it can fit bigger eyes. And what it's nice about it too is that it fits sticker eyes. And you can choose your color. And it's just big eyes are really cute. So unlike the polyfill, it doesn't fit the big, big, big eyes. So it has a little more potential if you use the heart shape. Uh, but my students, they're all creative and without even any special supplies like this heart would be, they just made this doll, for example, straight from just paper and just cutouts and yarn. Isn't that adorable? So the materials are up to your imagination. Um, you can recycle different items, but I do like also using the bigger eyes compared to this one here. And for the cute hair, I used feathers, like I explained in the other video. I just used a little bit more. Let's see how this is gonna look like. I kind of put the division right in the middle so it looks natural, do you see? So the feather line, I glued it like right there in the middle. She looks, <laughs> already looks funny. I really like it. I'm gonna reserve the thicker part to the back so I have some hair on the back too. Start in the back, and then I'm gonna fit it through in the middle with the hair line, and I'm just gonna hold it for a little bit to adhere. Okay, that looks already cute. You can also use extra large googly eyes. I think it's one size larger than that. Let's see how that's gonna look like. I'm gonna take these stickers off. Yeah, looks pretty funny. And if this part doesn't fit as good, just cut it off if it's too much. If it's coming off and it's too thick. Or fit the hairline anyway that 
complements the dough, you might want to glue it in two sections. So at first you can get this part done and then you can just adhere the hair in layers from the feathers. So it doesn't have to be done in all clean swipe. You can devote as much time as you like to work on the cute little details. In class, we don't have this kind of capacity to work on all these details so much. So the other video is much simpler and better suited for classroom. Since we run out of time very often, but for parents with families or doing homeschool at home, you can decide on the sizes of the eyes, change them a couple of times until you're happy. <laughs> Too small. Some of the eyes might have an indentation like that. And that one, you can just push in and glue. Just like so. There you go. Or you can use like I did here. Just for interest. One sticker and one googly eye. It's kind of artistic. This feather took no time to glue back and this one is giving me a little hard time. It just depends like which part of the feather you're working with. This one was the softer fluffy one at the end of the feather. Then I used a little bit of uh, alcohol marker but it can be watercolor marker too to give it a little cute little smile. You can do any expression that you like. I made a video creating the forms with pipe cleaners using the peanuts and it explains in detail how to do this part and it took a little longer so I'll go faster now. I'll use one pipe cleaner, cut it in half. I will now create V-shapes that are about equal. So fold it in half, create a V, fold it in half, create a V, make an X. There you go. Now decide which ones are going to be legs, which ones are going to be arms. The arms going to be shorter, so make the arm where you like it short. Then Take a piece of the arm and turn it into neck and come over. You can go come over one more time if you like to make it more secure. And there is your form. And just fit it with some glue inside and it's really sturdy already. This is going to be her friend. I used some felt so I'm going to give this dough just a leftover from cutting hearts, a different dress. I just usually wrap it around, see what happens. So I'm just gonna wrap it around like so. Looks perfect. You can put some yarn and form, form it over or I can make an incision, make it wrap a little nicer until I'm happy. That looks pretty cute. Designer dress. After that, I used a sticker. So, I'm just gonna put the sticker right in front. The 
the arms are gonna hold the sticker and just like that I am done um, the yarn is optional you can also put like a little shawl or a button here I had I've been punching holes and I have all these little paper circles everywhere so I'm gonna pretend these are buttons and glue them on right from the punch hole for a little detail and now I have a nice couple and this couple can uh, sit on a beautiful wreath together and I can or hang them on a door you can use a dollar tree decorated be my valentine backdrop for it and you can make a cute little couple especially for engaged or new newly married or yeah your ideas can be endless that could be a nice decoration and to secure them I would just use a pipe cleaner and press it through or I can glue it you can glue it staple it hot glue it you can add a little flower to it like this next to next to them or like this from felt and uh, it's ready to go on the door This is just a pen that has a little fabric flower. I just wanna show you how it would look like. Okay. You could hot glue it together. And just like that, you, ha you would have adorable door decoration wreath. Now is your turn. <laughs>